Once you've gone through matching the countries, you'll end up with 190 countries. And once we have that, then we only need the country and the continent and the data. So these two columns are no longer necessary. So we can just delete those and we end up with this. Um, um, so with this data, we can pick out just the data to do with just one particular continent. And we can also sort the data into order and we can draw some charts. Uh, cleaning the data like we did before is actually a, a big part of doing any kind of data analysis because data that comes in usually tends to be in a format um, that doesn't necessarily lead to analysis straight away. So we're going to pick out the data for one continent. Uh, so in the example, the continent we chose was Africa, and then we're going to sort the data and draw a chart from it. To do that, I need to use Excel's uh, filter and sort features. Uh, they usually exist in the home tab all the way uh, at the end over here, but on mine they've just disappeared because I've made this smaller. So instead I'm just going to go to the data tab and I also have the filter over here. So the filter looks like a funnel and this is essentially uh, allows you to search the data. So I'm going to turn the filters on. Um, and I'll just, I'm going to just click on group here at the top and then click on my filter button. I think, uh, you can be clicked anywhere and click the filter button and it will just put drop down arrows on your top row. Um, and I'm going to just pick out all the countries in Africa. So I will drop down this arrow here. And instead of having select all, I'll undo that, untick that and then place a tick just in Africa and then say OK. And that picks out, uh, you should be able to see, it picks out 47 of the 190 countries. So I now have just the countries in Africa, which is a an easier number to deal with, especially if you're trying to make an infographic. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort this data into order of uh, the number of teeth the number of decayed teeth and I'll, I'll start by sorting it into the least teeth uh, at the top and for that I can just click on the A to Z again on my data tab here it gives me this option I don't need to highlight the whole of the data I just need to be clicked in the column that the data needs to be sorted anywhere in this column and now when I click A to Z it organizes it into or sorts it actually doesn't organize it sorts it into uh, the uh, least value at the top and the highest value right down at the bottom here i'm now going to show some of these countries in a chart i'm not going to show all 47 because it will make the chart unreadable so i'm just going to pick 10 countries uh, just the name of the country and the data for teeth uh, and I'm going to do that by clicking on the country I want to choose, holding down control, and then clicking on the next set of data. So I'm just going to choose some countries uh, around 10, because 10 is a, is a nice number uh, on a chart to be able to read. Once I have my data highlighted, I can now draw a chart for that data. And uh, the chart tab, you can look for it in different versions of Excel. On this one, it's just under insert. And it gives me various different charts that I can choose. I'm going to start off with just a 2D column chart. And because we sorted the data, the data in the chart is also sorted. Uh, and it gives me the option of adding a chart title, which I'm, I'm going to do. I can also add other chart elements. So adding uh, an axis to the, uh, adding a y axis is useful here to show uh, what the numbers are showing. And I can add a, uh, an axis along the bottom as well by choosing a chart and a horizontal axis for the x axis. Um, I can also for the, for this particular chart, I can highlight just one of these bars 
to show that the color uh, I can use color to indicate that it's going from good to bad so I when I click on a, a bar now it highlights just one of them but when I start off uh, and click on the bar it highlights all of those so one more click and I can just highlight the one bar and then it gives you various options here uh, to change uh, what um, what color you want to fill it with and so that's quite bad so I'll fill it in a, a kind of gray color and maybe down here I need a nice uh, yellow color to show a nice bright smile uh, here and then these are going to be filled in in various other ranges so I, I'll spend a bit of time formatting my chart uh, next